A place in Grand Rapids where you can get recyclable materials for educational projects could end up closing. That's unless they can find new owners and a space to keep the thousands of supplies that they have. News 8's Gabrielle Pfeiffer spoke with the founder who says she's in desperate need of help. I'm old. I want to continue. Betsy Ham has a creative mind. I can make anything with anything. And she puts her heart and soul into everything she does. I love what I do. I wake up and come here, and it's just wonderful. Her nonprofit, Learning from Scratch, has helped hundreds of people turn discarded materials into handmade masterpieces. Teachers, students, and parents all come in to shop. Hi, can I help you? I'm just filling the bag. Okay. So, thank you. Yeah, fill it up. It's awesome um, just to be able to come in here. I love the fill in the bag. So, it's, I mean, it's a great value to be able to find all those things rather than going to like a Hobby Lobby or another store and buying them. It's my gift for the community and whatever people need, they can have it. Area businesses donate their scraps to Ham. Since first opening nearly 25 years ago, she has collected thousands of materials. Things like this. Look at this. This is great. The business on 28th Street is her third location. Soon, her landlord says she'll have to move again. I'll get a truck, but we need some help. Right now, the basement is filled with materials that haven't even hit the shelves. They're already moving things out, but haven't found another place to go. We've got three mini warehouse storage spaces. We've got two semi-trailers. We've got a school bus. We've been using a, a friend's barn. We have a, a, some storage barns in our yards and uh, our houses. It's even in my car. <laughs> The 75 year old has aphasia and scoliosis. Her assistant, Eric Stacy, helps as much as he can, but he's getting older too. They both say this is a heavy burden, but it's worth their time and energy. We'd really like to see this mission continue because it's, we think it's a great resource for the community. Reporting in Grand Rapids, Gabrielle Pfeiffer, News 8. If you would like to help with packing, moving, or would like to take over the nonprofit, you can visit web, our website, woodtv.com, for more information.